Hey, what's up everybody? Tristan here and we are back with another monthly vlog. Now, before we get into it, there's something that I definitely need to address with you guys and that is the firmware update. Now, many of you were able to successfully update the firmware on your bikes with no issues at all, but there are a few of you who ran into complications while updating your bike and honestly, that really sucks for us to hear. If this did happen to you, if you did experience complications while updating the firmware on your bike, um, my best advice would be to reach out to customer service so they can get you back up and riding. Um, the sooner you reach out to them, the better, the faster you'll be back on your bike adventuring with us again. As always, we'll provide you with more information as it becomes available, so just please bear with us. Now, with that out of the way, let's tackle the fun stuff. This month, we went to Austin, Texas for the last Electrify Expo of the year, and if you've ever wondered how to start a super squad in your town, one of our very own from Houston, Texas will tell us how he started his. One of our super squad members stops by HQ to show us his custom Bronco and his custom S2, and now we are actually in a video game, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Yo, Drew, what are you, what are you doing in here, man? Dude, Tristan, what's up, brother? Hey, we're playing a little Forza Horizon 5 from Xbox. Um, checking out what we could do here. I don't know if you see here, but look at this livery, guys. Super 73 Bronco R. This is crazy. Dude. That is sweet. And we got it right here, too, right? Bam. Yeah, that's yeah. what people are actually getting. Yeah, if you buy that Hot Wheels uh, Super 73 uh, RX that we collabed with, um, with Mattel, I mean, this is what you get. You get... The actual Bronco itself, and then look what look what someone made for us here. You jump in this menu, you select your Bronco R, head down to design and paints, you find a new design, and check this out. Boom, there it is. Right there. This guy, TGMS18, he's out of Mexico. He's a big fan. His name is Esteban. The dude is awesome. Loves the brand, loves the product, loved what we did with Hot Wheels and created this livery for us. And it's awesome that it's available for anyone who wants to jump on um, the Xbox Forza Horizon 5 game, get that Bronco R, jump over to uh, the designs and find it. Search Super 73 on the designs and there it is. You right could, there. You could drive the Super 73 Bronco R just like I am right now. That is crazy, man. We're in a video game. That's nuts. I mean, look how, look how fun this is. But check this thing out. This thing is fully loaded. This thing is ready for Baja. Just rocking around. This game is amazing, super fun. It's only been out for a couple weeks and gosh, it's so fun. Look at that thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I wanted a, a michelada or something. I don't right. know. <laughs> eyes on the road, man. Eyes on the road, eyes on the road. Oh no. <laughs> As you can see, I need uh, some more practice with this uh, Bronco R because it is super powerful. It looks amazing. So did you buy this game just to get the Bronco? Dude. Or did you already have it? No, no, no. Yeah. Bought the game. I said, uh, I need this in my life. This is awesome. I, I don't have the actual Hot Wheels itself, so the next best thing is jumping on Forza Horizon 5 and playing it. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, let me uh, leave you to your, your video games. I'm going to go uh, shoot some other stuff. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> All right. See ya. <laughs> we are in Austin, Texas for the third Electrify Expo this year. The first one was in Irvine, California. The second one was in Miami. And now we're here showcasing our bikes. That's our setup back there. And what are we doing over here? Give me one second. So, Drew, man, what are we doing over here? What's up, Tristan? So, we're at Electrify Expo Austin. It's the last stop this year. We got demo rides going on. We got our friends from Thousand Helmets providing the helmets, which is awesome. Great company. Now that we have our demo bikes here, we got the ZX, we got the RX, we have an S2 right here. So you can jump on our bikes, experience them, the thrill, having fun, getting on the track, and uh, come and jump over to uh, Electrify Expo and have a good time. That's right, we're doing test rides as well, but right now, I'm gonna take you guys to downtown Austin because we are doing a group ride. Uh, we have members from Dallas, 
uh, San Antonio and Houston that came all the way out to Austin for the group ride. So let's go ahead and head there. Now, if you live in Austin, Texas, and you've never been on a Super 73 before, I suggest that you come to Revival Cycles right behind me. They do demos. If you want to buy a bike, you can buy one here. If they don't have any in stock, you can get it off of their website. We're here right now because we're about to do a community ride. We have riders from Houston, San Antonio, and of course, Austin. We have some of their bikes right here. Some of the guys are right here. We're going to do a group ride. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Real quick though, before we get to it, I was able to bring my bike out here, my baby. First time out of state. Really excited about that. So that does it for our ride here in downtown Austin. Now we gotta hop back in the car, head back to Electrify Espo, and I'm gonna ask one of our community members how he started his group rides in Houston, Texas. Yo, so I'm here with Luis. He started the Super 73 community down in Houston. Now Luis, everyone's always asking us, how do you start a community in your city? So let the people know, man. Yeah, man, uh, well, there's no right or wrong way to really start. Uh, first thing you have to do really is just love what you're riding whatever it is that you're riding enjoy it love it and that with that comes the sharing of it you want people to share that love that you have for your uh, for your bike for your ride for your e-ride so uh, the way I personally started uh, I got my bike I started riding alone for like a year and then I got my girl to get one and then at some point she was like hey we gotta get a group going so I did it, I got a group going. Uh, I contacted one, two, three people and they contacted three, four, five, six people. So as long as you contact somebody and hey, let's get something going, they'll get somebody and then they'll get somebody. So all you have to do is just start. Yeah. Start slow, find somebody and it'll just Because it becomes go. exponential, right? Exactly. So you, uh, you do have a Super 73 Instagram account for Houston, right? Yes. yes. Where, where can people follow it at? They don't, have, a, they don't know already. It's on Instagram, Super 73 Houston. That's uh, where we operate mainly. Uh, find us there. Yeah. Find us there. How often do you guys ride together? We ride. We try to ride as often as possible. Uh, we do have a busy group, so um, it could be daily rides. It could be pop-up rides on a weekly basis. But we do have a monthly ride called the H Town Power Ride. Nice. It happens. It happens at the end of uh, every month. So cool, man. Stay tuned for that. There you have it. <laughs> so you heard the man. If you have a Super 73, but you haven't been on a group ride in Houston yet. Follow Super 73 Houston. I believe their next group ride is December 11th. That's a Saturday. Um, they're making the trip to Galveston. So if you've never been on the group ride before, maybe you should go to that one. Also, I know this part of the vlog has been very Texas specific, but the same rules apply in terms of forming a community in your city. If you have a Super 73 and you want to form a community, really all it is is social media and word of mouth. So get out there and ride, have fun, help spread the word, grow your community, and who knows, maybe we'll come out and ride with you guys someday. Hi, I'm John Pangolinan. This is my Super 73 and Ford Bronco. Uh, the inspiration behind the Bronco build was to kind of do a nod to the past with a little bit of a throwback feel um, with the boxwood green paint job, which um, is from the original Bronco. And kind of taking that with um, that inspiration with a little bit of a modern twist to keep something simple yet stands out you know my, my whole philosophy around building vehicles is aspirational yet obtainable I don't like to go over the top I want to build things that other people could do or enjoy or if they had a question they could do something like that similar for themselves so um, this is my daily driver so it stands out yet it's reliable it's capable um, I can have fun on the weekends I can take the family on a road trip with it and yet I could also take it to a car show and um, and have it on display. So when it came to doing something a little bit different, I've been a fan of Super 73 for years now, and I wanted to work with the S2 here because it has that cafe racer vibe. It has like that real 
um, that that uh, older look to it that kind of matches the theme that I went with on the Bronco. Um, and so we did the custom paint job um, and the livery was actually designed by my brother who was also in the motorcycle industry. And, and me being in, in the OG Moto Show as a, as a partner, you know, I really wanted to do something that's a little bit more my style and my flavor. And so, you know, we redid the, the seat and leather. We have the new the paint job livery, a little bit more of the knobbier tires for off-road riding. Um, and I think it just came out killer. And I probably get more compliments on the bike actually than I do on the Bronco when, when they're together like this. It's kind of crazy. Nice. Well, man, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, showing us your truck today. Thank you. It looked awesome. Thanks, man. So real quick, wanted to sneak this in. After Electrify Expo in Austin, we made the three-hour drive to Dallas to film a Super Squad story on Mike Moore, who's been a part of our community for about three years. So stay tuned for that. It'll be a good one. Now, it's been a while since we profiled a woman rider. So ladies, if you or someone you know would like to be featured in our next Super Squad story, please let us know down in the comments below. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I finally got the bike mounted behind me on the wall. And I wanna thank all of you who suggested on how to do it. Really, it was easier than I thought it would be. All it took was a couple of L hooks and I was able to put it in in less than 10 minutes. So that does it for this month's vlog recap. December is here, which means Christmas is around the corner. So do you know what I think would be an excellent gift for a loved one? Do I even need to say it? Maybe a Super 73 bike? <laughs> all right, everyone, I'm out of here. Until next time, I will catch you all in the next recap video. Peace.